Hi guys, it's Ruth Schroner with Get Ginger Fit, and I wanted to come to you today and show you my behind the scenes in my weekly meal plans. So I posted on my personal Facebook and my Instagram the other day, and I had a lot of response um, from people wanting to get a copy of my weekly, weekly meal plan, and I'm absolutely happy to share that with you guys. You'll have access to it, and I'll give it to you. But as I was making this, I thought I should also show you guys a little bit behind the scenes about how I think about meal planning and meal prepping. Because before all of this, uh, when I used to yo-yo diet, when I used to lose 15 pounds and then regain it, when I used to think that I couldn't eat food and be skinny, um, I thought meal planning was very intimidating. I'm really disorganized. I'm a slacker. <laughs> I'm lazy. Uh, when it comes to my food, I don't want to spend time on it. And so I wanted to show you guys how I look at it because honestly, right now, where I'm at in my health and fitness, to me, it's a habit. So I rarely meal plan. I rarely um, prep because my habits are so strong now. However, I did not start out that way. I started out solidifying my habits and thinking about what I was going to eat every day. And over time, it just replaced the old unhealthy habits I had with new healthy habits. But meal planning does not have to be hard, it does not have to be complicated, and it doesn't have to be elaborate or fancy or anything like that. And guess what, you can still eat a lot of food. So I wanted to give you my top five tips for meal planning. If these tips help you, please pass it, share it along with a friend, um, comment below if you want um, the meal plan that I'm kind of show you guys. I'm in the middle of doing it now, so it's not finished. But my first tip to you, number one, do not recreate the wheel. Do not recreate the wheel. Meal plans are already out there for you. So go to Google, go to Pinterest, and just search whichever type of meal plan fits your style. If you're doing 21 day fix, if you're doing paleo, if you're doing, um, whatever it is, a competition dieting, things like that. But don't recreate the wheel because there are so many um, examples out there. Start with those. So find something that resonates with you and then build on that. And that's how I start every week. Uh, now I have my meal plans from the past, so I just go in and change this. Number two. All right, I'm gonna show you guys. Hopefully you can see my computer. Whoa, <laughs> hello. And let me know if you have questions as we go along. Okay, so I'm using um, Google Drive for this. So my number two tip to you is to get into a routine and to do this to establish your eating habits. So if you guys look here, like this is real life. Um, when I am following you know, a, a meal plan very strictly, like when I go on a program, on Monday I'll start Country Heat and I'll go more into an established meal plan. I will eat the same things for breakfast, my morning snack, for lunch, uh, for my afternoon lunch, and about the only thing that changes is dinner. Now, some of you may be sound saying, oh man, I cannot do that, I need variety. That's okay, you can have variety too. Here's how I find my variety and also keep it simple. So I do know that in the mornings for my snack, I always have a carb. So for me, it's an English muffin. But say you want some variety. So the next day, instead of an English muffin, maybe I'm gonna have oatmeal. I cannot type and talk and do all this. But I'm still having the carb at the same time in my meal plan, but I'm just switching it out to add a little variety. So I'm gonna have oatmeal here instead of having the same food. Same thing for lunch. Um, a buffalo chicken wrap is kind of one of my staples. So maybe I didn't want to have that, but maybe the next day instead I'm going to swap out the protein of the buffalo chicken for turkey and I'm going to have a turkey sandwich. So I can still have the variety, but I'm still having the same types of food every day and just kind of swapping it out if I want or if you need that variety in your meal plan. That's how I keep it very simple. I'm eating the same types of food throughout the day and just swapping um those specific foods. So when I say types of food, I mean a protein, a fruit, carbs, vegetables, things like that, fats, and then I'm just swapping where I'm getting those things from. I hope that makes sense for you guys. That, that has been something that's saved me because I am not a planner. But I do know if I'm eating the same types of foods at the same time every day, I just know, okay, now it's time for my carb go to the kitchen and get the carb that I've stacked up on in the kitchen. So um, my number three tip for you, fill, when you're coming to do your weekly meal plan, you know, if it's on Sunday, whenever it is, fill in your staple meals first. They're the easiest, knock them out. 
What are your staple meals? Are they gonna stay the same from last week or are you gonna switch them up? It's the easiest way to start, right? It's not overwhelming. Sorry, I don't know what my husband's doing in the basement right now. He's probably building something else. Um, so fill in your staple meals first when you sit down to do your meal plan every week because it's gonna be easy. It's not gonna feel overwhelming. You're not gonna stress about it. My number four tip for you, find your dinner staples. Dinner is usually the hardest. I hear from a lot of families as well. Like, well, how can I eat healthy with a family? At least for me and my nutrition, I follow 21 Day Fix Nutrition. I've been doing it for two years. You guys, I can have the staples that I had growing up. Sloppy Joes, spaghetti, lasagna, enchiladas. You'd have it all. You just have to know your portions um, and you have to fix it a little bit differently and make sure that your meal plan is set up to allow for those portions by the end of the day, which is the importance of meal planning. So find your dinner staples as well, but also don't overcomplicate dinner. Um, and know that dinner doesn't have to just be chicken, 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 chicken. You can have foods, real foods. Find your staples and make enough for leftovers. Obviously this is easier if you don't have a lot of kids, um, but especially if you are single or you don't have kids in your life yet, make enough for leftovers because that is how I add variety in. For lunch, I'll have the leftovers from the night before so often. Um, or two nights in a row, I'll have the same dinner because I am super lazy. <laughs> and I'd much rather eat leftovers than have to cook another meal. Um, and also with dinner, remember to, again, use Google. Go at Google or Pinterest, you know, what are healthy dinner meals that fit your meal plan? So again, if you're following uh, 21 day fix or paleo or whatnot, just go Google it. You're going to find so many things. And if let's say that you love chicken fried rice and you're like, I want to reach my health goals and lose 10 pounds, but I love chicken fried rice. Go Google chicken fried rice, um, for 21 day fix or chicken ride clean chicken fried rice. And you're going to find alternatives to take your favorite things and make them clean and make them healthy promise. I think the biggest misconception is that you cannot eat food and have your goal body. Well, hallelujah, you can. I promise I'm living proof because I eat um, everything I want to eat and I still maintain the body that I want. Um, and number five, ditch your excuses. Ditch your excuses. This is the biggest, probably the biggest thing holding everybody back. They say it's too hard. They say they don't have time. They say it's expensive. They say they have kids or a spouse who won't eat the healthy food. Ditch your excuses, guys. How bad do you want it? How bad do you want it? How bad? My dog wants it bad. I be quiet. How bad do you, I? How bad do you want to reach your goals? That's what it comes down to. Do you want to look in the mirror and be proud of yourself? I guess telling me that I'm done. <laughs> um, or do you want to continue to get up every day and be unhappy with what you see, be unhappy in your health? So those are my tips for you. Again, if you found these helpful or useful, please share it or tag a friend, pass it along. Make sure to like the page so you can be notified of more live events. And let me know if you guys want a copy of my meal plan. I'm happy to share it with you. Um, and it's kind of a preview of what you'll find in it. Bye, guys. Have such a great Saturday.